Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about antenna ports. I am sure you might have heard this term. So let us see what 3GPP says about this. As per 3GPP, an antenna port is defined such that the channel over which a symbol on the antenna port is conveyed can be inferred from the channel over which another symbol on the same antenna port is conveyed. Let us try to understand this with an example. In this figure, you can see there is an antenna on left which has two ports. Please note that these ports are virtual ports, not physical port. These ports are from UE perspective, how UE sees the signal coming towards it. So as we know, whenever a signal travels through a channel, radio channel make some changes in the signal. And in the receiver side, we need to decode the actual signal. Now signal is transmitted via port 1. We will consider this as TX1. Let us assume transmitted signal is A, B, C, D, E in the sequence and the receiver receives E, D, C, B, A. Second signal is transmitted as Q, R, S, T, U. We can easily guess that the received signal at Rx will be as U, T, S, R, Q. So, channel has treated both the signals in same manner when transmitted from a same port. Now let us transmit something from port 2. The transmission from port 2 is treated differently than the transmission from port 1 was treated by the same channel. As ABCD is transmitted from port 2, it is received as CDEAB while from port 1, same signal was received as EDCBA. TRX2, which is QRSTU, is treated in the same way as the first transmission from port 2 was treated. So, we can say that if a signal is sent over same antenna port, changes made to that signal by the propagation channel will be same and changes made to the same signal if sent via different port will be different. Now we know what logical antenna ports meant but how this is useful, how we can make use of this information. Let us see in the next slide. Let us take this example where the pre-configured key is the word hello. So before transmitting any data symbols network sends hello towards the UE which is received as inverted at the Rx end due to changes made by the channel propagation. Now Rx knows how the channel is treating the symbols sent over the channel via a specific port. It can apply some reverse engineering to decode the actual message transmitted. How we realize this in 5G network is by sending DMRS, demodulation reference signal and PDSCH via same antenna port. In this way, UE can decode information about the propagation channel by reading the DMRS first and applying the same information to decode the actual data transmitted on PDSCH transmission. Please note, these reference signal are sequences that are known to the UE. The UE compares the received version of the sequence with the known reference to estimate the impact of the propagation channel. The UE can then apply an inverse of the propagation channel during the demodulation process. There can be another use of logical antenna ports where we can get benefit of sending data over different antenna ports. In example shown, we need to send a message, hello amigos. We can send the message using the same set of PRBs, time and frequency resources, but using different antenna ports. Different antenna ports means different data streams. So actually, we are able to send double the data using double stream. There can be more number of streams depending on the number of 
antenna ports used. Let us discuss how physical antenna elements and antenna ports are mapped with each other. Before that, let us briefly discuss about the 5G antenna modeling. This is how an antenna panel array looks like. The antenna is modeled by a uniform rectangular panel array comprising of MG, NG panel. MG is number of panels in a column. NG is number of panels in a row. Each panel array have multiple antenna arrays. The configuration of an antenna array model is represented by M and P. M is the number of antenna elements with the same polarization in each column. N is the number of columns and P is the number of polarization dimensions. So this is panel array. Each panel array have multiple antenna arrays and each antenna array have multiple antenna elements. Each antenna element is made up of two cross polarized dipole antennas. A particular type of transmission uses specific antenna ports. These ports are mapped to one or more antenna elements. Example, antenna port of 1000 series is used for PDSCH, which is mapped to specific set of antenna elements. Following antenna ports naming convention is defined by 3GPP for different transmission. For example, the synchronization signals the PBCH and PBCH demodulation reference signal use antenna port 4000. That is, all three transmissions share the same antenna port and so are transmitted such that they experience the same propagation channel. Antenna port 4000 is mapped onto a specific set of physical antenna elements which radiate across the air interface. Let us see how antenna elements and antenna ports are mapped. In this example, we have a single cross polar antenna. This is example of 2 cross 2 MIMO. Antenna element 0 is mapped with PDSCH and DMRS for PDSCH antenna port 1000. And physical antenna element 1 is mapped with PDSCH and DMRS for PDSCH antenna port 1001. UE receives two downlink transmissions, one PDSCH and its DMRS associated with antenna port 1000 and another PDSCH and its DMRS associated with antenna port 1001. Let us see example of one to many mapping. Here antenna array consists of multiple columns of cross polarized antenna elements. In this antenna array, we have eight cross polarized antenna elements. The PDSCH and its DMRS are using antenna port 1000, which is mapped onto all eight of the physical antenna elements. Using a larger number of physical antenna elements per antenna port increases the beam forming gain and directivity. From the UE perspective, there is single downlink transmission originating from antenna port 1000. In this example, a group of antenna elements is mapped to PDSCH and DMRS for PDSCH antenna port 1000. And another group of antenna elements to PDSCH and DMRS for PDSH antenna port 1001. UE receives signal from two antenna ports. This provides beam forming but with less gain and directivity than the previous example because there are fewer physical antenna elements per antenna port. Now let us briefly discuss what are quasi collocated antenna ports. As per 3GPP, Two antenna ports are said to be quasi collocated if the large scale properties of the channel over which a symbol 
on one antenna port is conveyed can be inferred from the channel over which a symbol on the other antenna port is conveyed. The large scale properties as per 3GPP are delay spread, Doppler spread, Doppler shift, average gain, average delay and spatial Rx parameters. 3GPP has introduced quasi collocation or QCL concept to help the UE with channel estimation, frequency offset error estimation and synchronization procedures. For example, if UE knows that the radio channels corresponding to two different antenna ports is QCL in terms of Doppler shift, then UE can determine Doppler shift for one antenna port and then apply the result on both antenna ports for the channel estimation. This avoids the UE to calculate Doppler for both antenna ports separately. A UE can assume that they share some common radio propagation characteristics. A UE can complete channel estimation using one transmission and then apply the results to help reception of the second transmission. 3GPP has specified the following categories of QCL to specify which radio propagation characteristics are shared between two transmissions. So there are four type of uh, QCL depending on the type of radio propagation characteristics they share. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, please consider giving a thumbs up, share it with your friends and colleagues. I would like to mention that for this video, I have taken references from 3GPP and a book by Chris Johnson named as 5G in Bullets. It is a very good book for conceptual understanding. If you consider buying it, I have put Amazon link in the video description. You can check out that link. Thank you again, guys.